A group of scientists are warning about an emerging type of advertising in which companies try to manipulate your dreams. Derek Stahl goes in-depth with a sleep researcher to explain why some are calling for more government oversight. This video of streams and mountains is designed to make you dream about Coors Light in a positive way. Get into your bed and get comfortable. And an experiment funded by the company suggests... Can you tell me what you were dreaming? It worked. I think it was something to do with Coors. This was more of a stunt than a rigorous study. Coors says some of the participants were paid actors. But UC Irvine dream researcher Dr. Sarah Mednick says the science here is very real. There's several studies that show that we can get in there while someone's sleeping and completely unbeknownst to the person, bias whatever processing is going on to be specific to whatever we want them to think. She was one of 40 sleep scientists who published a letter this month warning about the rise of this technique called dream incubation. Other companies like Burger King, Microsoft, and Sony have experimented with it in recent years. We're more vulnerable to be influenced during dream time than we are during waking. There is a lot to be concerned about, I think. During sleep, our brain decides which memories to keep, and scientists have discovered they can influence the process by showing you a video just before bedtime, or by using sounds, smells, and lights after you doze off. Not only is, is sleep processing our memories, turning them into long-term memories, but sleep is also an open period where you can get in there and actually manipulate what is getting remembered. Dream incubation can be used for good. One study found it made smokers smoke less, but Dr. Mednick and others worry this could be used on people without their knowledge. Since 40 million Americans now have smart speakers in their bedrooms. The Nest system knows when you're sleeping and it's controlling your, your speakers. It's controlling the temperature in the room. It's controlling, you know, what kind of information could come into your brain. She says the Federal Trade Commission has rules against subliminal ads when people are awake, but the rules don't apply when people are asleep. She wants regulators to start updating their rules now before our dreams become digital billboards. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.